Yo, what's up? It's your man Horatio right here for Hip Hop DS. Tyler the Creator stopped by Hot 97's Ebro in the morning on Friday, August 6th for an all encompassing interview that spanned over 90 minutes in the studio. The we having picnics and like. Is that part of the whole Khaled thing? Like you felt like at the time when that conversation happened? Bro, that Khaled was, thing was like. It was fun. It was just watching a man die inside because the under the under, the, the guy that, you know, the weirdo was winning. I was moonwalking in a wig. <laughs> Everyone on his album. Everyone. And it's like, oh no. Nah. <laughs> this but, bridge gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> so But but, but it's but, to the same point, but again, isn't it? About like, not understanding what's again, happening. Not other understanding, like, and he wasn't wrong. Like, I'm not in the barber shop. I'm not at the club. I'm not did it did it skinny. I'm not in the back of the Maybach. <laughs> right? And he's not wrong. But like his shit what is now? big where it's big and your shit is big where it's but, big. But like yes, yeah, so well, when I got that number one, it was that the world is one dimensional. It's not all that's what I'm saying, it's bro. Not. And it's like a piece of me really didn't like that at all because it's like man, I make I make rap music. I love rap music. I make music, but rap is my thing. And it was it was it was already making alternative rap and not fully being again accepted by like the BETs or like a lot of them shit I've been dealing me and that's dealing with my whole life. So for some guy like that to kind of indirectly be like, that ain't real rap, that ain't real black music. That's what it felt like, and I was like, my n don't don't do. But I didn't say nothing. I just let that number one speak. Ego had to deal with that because his whole identity is being number one. And when he didn't get that, that sat with him longer in real lifetime than that moment. Call me if you get lost rapper touched on a multitude of topics, including his new album, geeking out over luggage, the BET Awards, the Locks' verses, and being DJ Khaled for a number one album with Igor in 2019. Tyler actually had fun with the moment when a distraught DJ Khaled posted an Instagram video throwing shots at Tyler the Creator calling his music mysterious. Shout out to all the Tyler the Creator fans who have been loyal. I'm sure we all can agree that we love to see the underdog win. And shout out to DJ Khaled for hating, because for Tyler, it pushed him to drop this masterpiece called Call Me If You Get Lost. And look, I hate to say something is a classic so soon, but I'm sold. I think this album is the best of the year, and it speaks to Tyler's musicianship and persistence. So tell me what you guys think about the album. What do you think about the hate that he's got around his quote-unquote weirdness? Along with that, make sure you follow Hip Hop DX and me at Horatio Radio on all social platforms.